Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the second and final video about 3D printing and assembling the shard, an aerobatic airplane. I've purchased the design from an online website. They have multiple airplanes that they sell. I've, I've, I've chosen this because I, I wanted to build an aerobatic airplane. I think as you gathered from the title of this video, it didn't go well. And I'm gonna take you through my experience printing, putting together, and you know, uh, flying this airplane. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the airplane because it, it crashed uh, on the second flight. I wanna give you my impressions as I go through the manual around the parts, the printing, uh, the quality, attention to details, and then take you through the reasons of why it crashed, what happened on the second flight. So let's go ahead and start. So when I printed this airplane, I was really, really impressed with attention to details. The designer did a really, really good job in terms of the parts needed, uh, or basically the design, attention to details. We had small parts printed with TPU that really added a lot of functionality to the plane. Um, you know, whether it's like the servo arms, uh, you know, whether it's the, you know, uh, the, the, the tail gear assembly, really, really nice attention to details. What, what, when you print and put this plane together, you'll be impressed with how much time and thought was given to this airplane. I really enjoyed putting it together. So what happened is I've, I've printed it, I've put it together. Really, I did a good job in terms of printing this and putting it together and making sure that it's a solid, you know, frame per the instructions here with the use of uh, uh, the, 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 the carbon fiber spars. And then I took it out to the field to fly it. Now, when I took it out to the field, it was a sunny day. The temperature was around 30 degrees Celsius. And what happened is I've put the battery in, I've used a five, uh, I've used a 3400 milliamp hour 4S battery. And you know, I've put it a little bit tail heavy uh, because it was the maiden flight. That was a mistake. I should have used the front CG, but I used a CG in the middle between the front and the back CG. And I flew the airplane, the maiden was good. It was a little bit tail heavy again because the battery was a little bit to the back, but nothing I could not manage. I flew the airplane and then I, I landed the airplane. Uh, actually, it, on the first flight, it did not need any trimming on the ailerons. It tracked really well. It needed some down trim on the elevator again because it was a little bit tail heavy. So again, I flew it, the maiden went well, I landed, and then when I landed, I noticed something very strange. So I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna show you this. This is the canopy. And the first thing I noticed when I landed was that the canopy started deforming. Of course, I printed this with low weight PLA, as, as recommended by the, by the designer. And immediately when I landed, I was able to see that because of the sun, because of the temperature, this has started to deform and wrinkle, okay? The other thing I, I, I noticed, which was even more um, serious was, let me show you, take you to the tail assembly. The tail, that I'm hovering my mouse over now, which is this one, and those parts immediately started to sag down. It started to tilt down. So it was basically melting. It was melting and sagging down or going down towards the ground, which was really annoying. And uh, because I did not really use lightweight PLA before, I did not anticipate this. I did not know that, you know, in a relatively sunny day, when the temperature is high, uh, or it was around 30 degrees Celsius, that it would have this kind of impact, you know, on 3D printed airplanes, uh, printed out of lightweight PLA. And that was kind of disappointing because I did not expect that. And that in a way 
put me off in terms of trying to print another airplane uh, trying to 3d print another airplane because I almost every time go out and fly in sunny days when the weather is nice when it's a little bit warm so if this is the case or if this is how lightweight PLA reacts to Sun and to temperature then it's definitely a no-go for me anyway so I've noticed some deformation with with uh, with uh, with the tail deformation with 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 the canopy I tried to straighten out it, uh, to straighten out the tail I pushed it up uh, you know the canopy wasn't much of, of, of a problem yes it was deformed but it was still in place but then during the second flight when I when I've put the battery in the right CG and I flew immediately when I took off and I was turning the motor was immediately ripped out of place and let me scroll down and show you uh, so this is where the motor mounts this is the front piece which is printed out of PLA and you know this piece which is printed out of PLA is glued to the front side of the airplane which is printed out of PLA and then reinforced with some carbon fiber tubes that go through the front side of the can of the plane and then goes through this PLA part which is the motor mount now again when I took off it immediately the motor ripped out of place my guess my estimate is that uh, because I don't have the airplane uh, it fell down into really high into really high bushes and I couldn't go in there to retrieve it because it's tick season and I didn't want to get bitten by a tick they carry Lyme disease I didn't want to take that risk so anyway uh, my estimate is that this front PLA part became soft because of the heat and then as the motor was spinning because this motor mount became soft it started like moving a little bit and then the vibration you know ripped it just out of its place you know and uh, the motor was ripped out of place and you know I still had control over the ailerons the elevator of course I tried to land it but it was far uh, and I kind of landed it softly into heavy into into the high grass and bushes and I just till now I couldn't go there because of the ticks you know uh, so that was what happened and it was kind of a disappointment so I mean if I want to if I want to convey to you some learnings out of this is 3d printed airplanes are not designed to be flown in hot weather not at all I mean I could have of course printed instead of printing this mount from PLA I could have printed this from PETG or nylon which has higher heat tolerance but still it's mounted into a section of the airplane I mean the motor mount is mounted into this front section of the airplane which is basically printed out of PLA if this is gonna get soft this part is gonna basically just be ripped out of, of, of the front side of the airplane so that kind of that was kind of disappointing and it put me off 3d printing airplanes I hope it doesn't do the same to you maybe you fly in a in a in, in basically a colder weather which would which would fit more you know 3d printed airplanes for me I don't I just fly when it's nice and sunny and warm and that's gonna kill any 3d printed uh, airplane um, and basically that's it for this I mean again design is nice really nice attention to details I like how this plane how this airplane is designed you know it, it fits together very nicely a lot of thought and detail a lot of thought was given into designing it but again this is not to be flown in warm weather just make sure you don't do that uh, other than that there's nothing else and uh, this is the CG I was referring to so you see you have a front and a back CG uh, if you print this and try to maiden it always maiden it using the front CG not the back one uh, with the back CG it's gonna be a little bit tail heavy and it's more suitable towards hovering and aerobatics uh, 
Needless to mention, I, 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 I basically used the same settings as recommended by the manufacturer, by the designer, in terms of you know the throws, uh, the expos, everything else, and you know uh, that was the outcome. I don't think I'm gonna be printing this airplane again, again for the same reason because I mean I fly in warm weather, so that's not gonna be well. That's not gonna bode well with you know low uh, lightweight PLA. Um, I would appreciate your feedback if you have any comments on what I've just said. If you have a different opinion, please put that in the comments section. Maybe we can learn from each other. Uh, this is my experience. I wanted to convey it to you. Uh, maybe it would help you if you're trying to basically 3D print this airplane. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, don't forget to click on like and subscribe. It would help the channel a lot. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.